Hey there, Randy here. That's Kristen diving below. Today we're off the coast of Pompano Beach, Florida, doing a little bit of the lobster diving. Uh, we're using a Brownies tankless diving system. It's uh, lithium ion battery powered. I've uh, been using that for about a year now. And uh, we think we have a couple videos on how to set that up and how to use it. At the end of the video, if you like this video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Love to have more followers and uh, share more of what we love doing. It's really hard to communicate underwater. It's also hard to spot these little lobster tentacles stinking out. This one did not want to come out. <laughs> he put up a good little fight here. He saw that net and was like, I'm out. I finally got him in there and I'm going to take him up and measure him. Honestly, I guess we could have measured him below. But like I said, we've only been using this for about a year. <laughs> So figuring some things out. Yep, that one was too small, so we let him go. Check out this grouper, though. like that he disappeared after this I started diving with a light but I didn't really have anything to get him with and it looked like he had already been speared a couple times so he was probably too small also want to mention this video was actually shot in August of last year so lobster season's actually about to end here in a week so about six seven months behind on putting this video out Pays to be persistent when you're lobstering. And that's one thing that Brownie's third lung really helps you. So you. Can't hold your breath for that long, it really helps you stay down there and levels the playing field a little bit. <laughs> that's my wife's way of telling me it was a female. <laughs> Kristen gets pretty animated under the water. <laughs> Trying to get her out without hurting her. I 
really notice these lionfish are getting closer and closer to shore. Again, we're just tied up to a moving buoy off the coast of Pompano Beach. There's a baby, and right above it is a much larger one. These things are really fast and hard to get in a net, and I didn't have my spear gun with me because we were lobster. temperatures were again I think actually might have been a little bit warmer than I mentioned earlier this time of year Yeah, this one disappeared on me. We weren't able to find this one, so I think he actually went up to my right or to the left of the screen now. And I actually thought he went the other direction. Back to watching the video, I think it was clear he went opposite way I thought he might. I think I spend most of my time when I'm underwater upside down for some reason. It just seems to be easier to look under the rocks that way. I think every trip we go out, we always find some trash. There's always signs of humans out there. Uh, so please, if you're out on the water on the beach, please pick up after yourselves. Or if you drop something in the water, please go get it. It really does harm the habitat and uh, the fisheries that we have here. Uh, so if you run across it while you're out diving, please do your best to remove it as well. Dispose of that and then we'll get back to diving some more. I just saw another lobster under there. Like I said earlier, it's really hard to communicate underwater. <laughs> she heard her name though. I lost him, I think. I realized he was under the other rock. And I'm soon to find out that this is a she and not a he. I'm not assuming genders or anything. She's got eggs. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Amphitious.
Take a break for a bit.